Hi everyone, this is Jarendeep Kapoor. In this video, we'll be looking at a strategy which has more than 100% plus returns back tested over a period of almost two years. And we'll also be discussing in this video how you can deploy this ALGO strategy without knowing a single piece of code. So yes, this is a strategy which has had more than 100% plus returns and we'll be sharing this strategy with you which you can deploy it on your own capital and you can also deploy this strategy without knowing a single line of code. So let's get started with it. This is the graph of the strategy as you can see. And apart from a few drawdowns, this strategy has continued to make money and go up. And let's get started with the strategy. The strategy is a moving average crossover strategy. What is a moving average crossover? Let's go to Delta Exchange and try to understand that. So you can go to indicators in Delta Exchange's tab here, or you can find this on Trading View also. Just go to indicators and type moving average. This is the moving average indicator, and you can implement this in your chart. So I have already implemented the moving average indicator in my chart. You will find settings here in which you can click on input and choose length. Okay, I have chosen the length 10. Now, what does length 10 in a moving average mean? So, a moving average with length 10 means that this line is generated by taking the average closing prices of the past 10 candles and extending it. Okay, and making a moving average with length 20 would mean the same thing with the average of past 20 candles closing price okay and now what is the moving average crossover strategy so in the moving average crossover strategy it helps us to identify trends in the price of an asset in this case bitcoin and what we'll be doing is that we will be uh, taking crossover when the faster moving average or the moving average which is smaller number in length which is 10 crosses above the slower moving average that is our buy signal and the reverse is our sell signal so let's look at an example so the moving average of length 10 is denoted in the green color whereas the 20 moving average is denoted in the red color whenever the green line crosses above the red line which is here we will buy so if you had bought here at 36500 you would have made a profit of approximately 1000 points and whenever the reverse happens we will sell so as you can see the green line is crossing below the red line here so we will sell at this price so we will sell at approximately 37400 and bitcoin has gone 1500 points lower than that so we could have booked a profit of 1500 points but now this is a strategy and to see if this will perform well over the long term or not you need to back test it because looking at a few examples like this will not give you the final outcome or the final return of the strategy and as you can see here here are a lot of crossovers happening and there is no real movement in bitcoin so how you can realize if this is a good strategy or not and how you can remove small movements like this both of these things we'll uh, discuss in this video so first here is the back test of this strategy this is the back test in which we have taken different moving average so the example which we have just discussed was a simple moving average of 10 and 20 and if we discuss the total net PNL of this strategy, that is $5,000 on a quantity of one Bitcoin since 1st September 2022. So it is almost two years since that time. And the total net PNL which we would have made will be approximately $5,000 after fees. And the total fees would, we would have been paid is around $25,900. And we would have made 931 trades. So this is very high fees and this is a very high number of trades. And we can see comparatively for other uh, options also, here are the net PNs and the total fees paid. The best strategy according to this comes out to be the SMA 50 and the SMA 100 strategy, which has given a total net PNL of $18,000 and a fees of just $5,000 with just 200 trades. But how can you optimize this 
strategy to produce better returns. So we can optimize this strategy by introducing something which is called a funding rate filter. What is a funding rate filter? When you go to Delta Exchange, you will find something known as the funding rate. What is a funding rate? Funding rate is a payment which is paid by the shorts to the longs or the longs to the shorts based on whether the price of the perpetual is trading higher than the spot price or lower. Okay. So if we add the funding rate filter uh, to this strategy, here are the improved PNLs of the same. We are only taking bullish trades in a bullish markets and bearish trades in a bearish markets. So whenever the market is bullish, we will only be buying, we will not be shorting. And whenever the market is bearish, we will only be shorting, we will not be buying. And how do we define a bullish and a bearish uh, market? Whenever the funding rate is greater than 5% annualized, we consider it to be a bullish market. And whenever the funding rate is less than 5% annualized, we consider it to be a bearish market. A lot of trades which we were seeing that were moving sideways, they will be cut out. And here are the results. So talking about the SMA 10 and SMA 20 strategy, which had which has now has a total net PNL of twenty thousand dollars, which is a very big improvement from the five thousand dollars earlier. This is almost a hundred percent return on the quantity of one Bitcoin since two thousand twenty two starting. The total fees has also reduced to just eight thousand dollars, and earlier it was twenty five thousand dollars. And the number of trades has reduced from 931 to 590 and so on we can see that improvements for all other type of moving averages that the total net pnl of all of these strategies is close to 100 percent okay so this is how you can backtest a strategy to see if it is profitable or not and also improve it or optimize the results by adding filters now how can you uh, deploy this strategy so to deploy this strategy, you can come to the Delta Exchange blog here. I will link this in the description and the comments below. So we have a form here which you can fill if you want me to create a video to how to deploy this strategy. Otherwise, for people who know how to deploy a strategy with TradeTron, can just click on this link and directly invest into this strategy. The minimum capital required for this strategy is 1 lakh rupees. And you can directly invest into this strategy. If you want me to explain how to uh, use Tradetron to automatically deploy strategies without knowing a single line of code, let me know in the comment sections below. Thank you, everyone.